Manafort's indictment spells trouble for Tony Podesta and Michael Flynn. Hello folks, my name is Jenna from Golden State Times and today we have a special report. This one comes courtesy of GoldenStateTimes.com and it says, Experts say Special Counsel Robert Mueller's use of Foreign Agents Registration Act against former Trump campaign manager Paul Manafort should worry others reported to have skirted the law's disclosure rules. FERA is hardly ever used to bring criminal charges, with fewer than 10 cases and one conviction since 1966 for working for foreign political interests without filing paperwork with the Justice Department. Experts see the laws used against Manafort as a sign that may change. Tougher enforcement may be of particular concern to other subjects of Mueller's probe into Russia's role in the 2016 election such as uh, former National Security Advisor Michael Flynn and Democratic super lobbyist Tony Podesta. Flynn belatedly registered as a foreign agent of Turkey earlier this year, while Podesta reportedly became a subject of Mueller's probe over his firm's belated admission of work with Iranian, I'm sorry, with Ukrainian interest. It goes on to say that Podesta said Monday that he will be leaving the Podesta group amid the probe. It goes on to say that Manafort's receipt of millions of dollars from pro-Russia interest in Ukraine is central to his indictment Friday by a grand jury. The charges were made public Monday with Manafort and co-defendant Rick Gates alleged to have laundered the money to avoid paying U.S. taxes. Attorney Joshua Rosenstein, an expert on the matter, said, quote, In my view, it would be unlikely for similarly high-profile matters to be ignored by the DOJ for much longer. He went on to say, quote, I would imagine that this would lead to more aggressive enforcement across the board, including against Mr. Flynn, Mr. Podesta, and Russian-controlled media outlets if the facts bear the charges. So yeah, folks, it looks like uh, both Michael Flynn and Tony Podesta, which is actually Podesta's brother, uh, they're in big trouble, folks. It looks like they're next on the chopping block, but we just have to see what's going to happen. Um, you know, throughout the whole weekend, the left, the, the libtards, the liberals all over social media, they were so ecstatic that finally, you know, Trump was going to get impeached because of what the outcome of this was going to happen. They were so happy and all, all throughout the weekend, you know, going on social media, I would see, oh, yeah, this is the end of Trump. And Trump did this and Trump did that and, you know, all this stuff. And it turned out to be Monday and nothing happened. <laughs> so that's that's basically how it ended up. And it's I find that so hilarious. I'm pretty sure right now if I go on social media, you would see libtards and and uh, leftists, you know, melting all over, you know, all over social media, going crazy and saying how Robert Mueller is the worst person in the world when you know, 24 hours ago, they were saying he was the best guy on, on on the face of this earth, you know. But let us know what you guys think in the comment section below. Will Podesta, Tony Podesta, be indicted? And when do you think this uh, Mueller investigation is going to end? Let us know in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching. If you guys missed the press briefing by the White House, Sarah Sanders, she did a press briefing earlier today. If you guys missed it, it should be coming up on your screen. They talked a lot about Manafort and how that is connected to the administration, which it isn't. And uh, how President Trump is still saying, you know what, I'm 100% you know, um, cleared on this. I did not collude with anybody. The only one that colluded was the DNC in making a fake dossier against me. So they should be looking into that. They should look and be, be looking into that fake dossier. They should be looking into Uranium One. But instead, they are looking into this. Now, Manafort is most likely going to jail, but who knows? Who knows what's going to happen? But that was all talked about at the press briefing. So again, if you guys missed it, 
it should be coming up on your screen. If you guys missed any of our videos throughout the weekend, those should be coming up on your screen. If you're interested in signing up to our newsletter, there's two ways of signing up. The link is in the description below or on our website at goldenstatetimes.com. It's a newsletter packed full of articles and videos and future live streams and previous live streams you might have missed, information on the channel and President Donald Trump's daily schedule. If you guys want to check that out or if you guys want to sign up, the link is in the description below or on our website at goldenstatetimes.com. Check the links in the description below. Check out our website, goldenstatetimes.com. And I hope to see you guys here next time. My name is Jen. I'm from Golden State Times, and I'll see you soon. Peace.